Yeah, I would still say he's questionable. He 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 didn't do the entire practice the past two days, but he did some of the practice. Um, you know, got some scout team reps and and you know did a couple of team reps, and so he's still questionable. We still got a, a good amount of time before Saturday um, evening, and uh, we'll revisit it obviously today after practice and tomorrow after practice, and as we get to Saturday. But I would still say today uh, he's questionable for Saturday night. Yeah, I think they do a a lot of pre-snap disguises they give you different looks they move uh you know one of their we call them their jack guys they move them around in different places and you know again they bring pressure they drop eight they do a lot of different things and so you know for us to, we, we got to be able to pre-snap wise have an idea of what we think we're getting and then be able to adapt and adjust um off of it it's going to be obviously a uh, a big game for Tyler to be able to, you know, put our protections in, put our offensive line in the right protections, make the right checks and, and make the right decisions. But, you know, again, you can't be um, overly prepared for everything. You know, you got to make sure you have a good um, base in terms of what you think you're going to see and what our plan is. And be, you're going to have to be able to adapt and adjust. We have to be really good with our uh, sideline adjustments and be able to communicate what we've seen and, and really what we think we're going to be getting. No, I think you got to understand they're still freshmen. This is their first collegiate game, and and we have to have that understanding. Now, a lot of them has has you know earned the trust in their coaches and and our coaching staff that we can play them, and uh, we will, you know. And and but we have to again understand that this is a lot of the, all of them their their first collegiate game, and and obviously going into a, a place like Ohio Stadium and. Um, they got to understand the type of challenge it will be. And so we got to be smart in terms of what we're asking them to do. But if we put them on the field, we have the confidence they can get the job done. Uh, it was something that, you know, I brought up that day just because I heard it in the press conference. Again, I'm not huge in to gambling. As I told the team, I just said that that meant we were underdog and it's okay. And so, listen, again, it all comes back to the motivation to prepare. And, and that's what our job as coaches uh, is to do is to make sure that we have the most prepared team we can. And uh, that's what it's all about. Um, again, I'm not using that for Saturday. If, if, if we got to go in there and say you're an underdog on Saturday to get them motivated, then we have other issues. And so, again, every day you're looking for a way to get them prepared and get them motivated to practice. Yeah, all three of them will, will be in a position to play for us and be able to uh, go out there and, and compete. And so, um, Again, we're not going to put them on the field if we don't think they're ready to, to help us and they're ready to play a game. And uh, uh, we feel all three of those guys are ready to help us and ready to go compete on Saturday. So, um, again, there's some probably live reps they missed during camp, but there's no hesitation in my mind and the position coach's mind to, you know, play those guys.